Virginia George here. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I wanted to take a second today and talk about hand care in strength sports. Um, there's not a lot of information out there, or I didn't find a lot of information out there when I first started CrossFit in how to be taking care of our hands. And I thought I was doing a pretty good job of keeping my calluses under control, um, of kind of scraping them off in the shower and doing some filing and trying to make sure that they were relatively smooth to avoid rips. And then I got myself a couple of really good rips. So I went searching on how to take care of your hands. Um, and I came across various videos. I know that there are some um, products out there. There are some like little tube um, things with some like scrapey, you scrape it and then there's sandpaper. Um, I can see those being pretty handy for like in your gym bag um, for on the go. I also have watched a video where somebody used a razor, like a single bladed, like shave your face, shave your legs razor um, to file down their, their calluses and that just made me really nervous. So I'm going to show you the two things that I use regularly that work really well for me. The first is, it's actually a cuticle trimmer. Um, and I got this one on Amazon. So they often come in like manicure kits or whatever, and they're really not very sharp. Um, what's interesting about this cuticle trimmer is that it's very sharp and it will cut away at the dead skin, but it really doesn't do anything to live skin. Um, I've never had a problem like going too deep or, or hurting myself with it. Um, so basically you just take it on your calluses and Mine aren't really significant right now because um, quarantine, COVID, right? And we're not in the gym as much. I'm not lifting with a barbell as much. But um, it's going to be difficult to see. But this will basically just take like little... Actually, this one's really dry on the top. Um, but you, it'll start to take little... I um, can't see anything. Pieces of... Of skin off and I can use this to um, shave it down and get it really to a pretty there is a, a good one so it'll take um, it'll take good good chunks let's see if I can get this on the camera to show it I just come at it from all different angles um, and can and it really will do a nice job of getting down um, to some um, wetter or like less dried out skin um, and so I find I find that cuticle trimmer really useful for doing like the majority of like large callus removal so when there's a, I get to a point where I'm like oh yeah they're starting to you know if I'm hanging on the rig or you know doing um doing something and they feel like they're maybe going to get ready to tear um then I will use that and and get them down so that they're smaller and narrower so it seems counterintuitive that you don't really want calluses but what can happen is the callus just becomes this like tough thing and it doesn't flex and move um, and then it tears away from the softer, more supple skin around it. And you can end up with really bad hand tears, which can then delay your training. Um, there are things you can't do. Typically it hurts like a son of a gun. Um, so keeping your hands trimmed and cared for is really a really important thing as a strength athlete, whether you're a powerlifter, crossfitter, um, or any other kind of strength sports. So this one I use really often. As you go through the day and the weeks, um, even if you don't need to do a full on shaving down or scraping down with the cuticle trimmer, even if you don't have to fully trim down your calluses, a lot of times I'll get like little rough spots and then I'll have a tendency to pick at them or um, they can turn into something bigger. So the second thing that I use um, almost every day, well, every couple of days for sure, is um, I have a Dremel. So it's just a Dremel, a battery powered Dremel that I got on Amazon for about $25. I'll put links for both of these things in the description below um, with the sandpaper on top. And you just turn it on, there's high or low. Um, 
I find that high will tend to get too hot on my skin and this is not good for um, filing down large like depth of skin this is good for smoothing things out filing up edges um, and maybe doing a little bit of maintenance work in between um, so I've got some here um, on this hand here I had a big um, a big blister so I had a and you can see one here too, a callus that turned into a blister from my cowbell swings. Um, and then the callus or the blister came off. So I've got some, some skin there that could be filed away. And so it just slowly, I kind of will, will tend to hit this. You can get um, your fingers really easily with this. Um, if you need any, just anything shallow. Um, also sometimes I will on the insides of my thumbs, get um, from snatching, snatching in particular, we'll get some calluses that sometimes need a little bit of attention. And obviously I'm not, I don't wanna, you know, if it's just slight, you don't need to dig in with the big cuticle trimmer and then I'll just do a little. So this one is really easy and quick to hit, um, you know, every couple of days on any weird spots that you find. Um, and then the cuticle trimmer I use far less often, but um, so yeah, these are two, so these are the two tools that I would recommend for, for hand care for yourself. If you're any kind of a strength athlete, um, using barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, um, anything like that, just to help keep your hands, help keep your hands safe and keep you in the game longer. If you have any other questions or any other suggestions of things that you use for your hand care, um, please leave those in the comments below. So as far as routine maintenance goes, um, I use the Dremel every couple of days uh, just to kind of file off any rough patches or kind of keep things from getting too thick too fast. So what do you do if you do get a hand tear? Um, if you can help it, uh, leave the skin on as long as possible. It will protect the skin underneath and kind of wait until that skin is really ready to be exposed to the air and to the elements. Um, if you get blisters, like this one here was a blister, um, blister basically underneath the callus that was from my kettlebell swings, um, and just leave it, leave it even though there was like, it was red and the skin is tough and I could probably safely cut it off. Um, I had calluses or I had callus blisters on the palms of, palm of both my hands from the first week of my 10,000 kettlebell swing challenge and I just left them alone and they kind of flared up a couple of times and like got irritated but then they just dried out and and stayed and then maybe it was a week or so later that the skin was kind of starting to peel back and then I could peel it and trim it and I had zero pain as a result whereas if I would have taken those like blisters the skin was was separated so basically the callus was separated from the healthy um, live tissue underneath and if I would have peeled that off, it would have stung and it would have hurt and it really would have made it difficult to continue doing anything, you know, washing dishes, taking a shower, let alone training. Um, by leaving it alone, I didn't have any pain and then a week later when the skin was ready to come off, I could kind of trim it off and then sand it out and you could barely tell that anything had happened there. So um, leaving the skin intact as long as possible is always a really good thing and then also on the pretty frequently it's helpful to moisturize. And I'm not just saying like throw some lotion on your hands, but uh, I have some salve that I had made. So anything really, I prefer to use anything that's like beeswax based because it's going to sit on the skin and, and be protective. And so a lot of times before bed, I'll take some um, salve that I have that's, that I made that's beeswax based and put it across, um, particularly across the tops here. And then if if these calluses here are kind of big, just to kind of keep my hands um, a little bit softer and more moisturized. And it just basically keeps the skin more flexible so that when you're doing things with heavy metal in your hands, right, that the skin can bend and flex and doesn't try and tear away from your hands. So those are the tips that uh, work for me. Leave yours in the comments below and we'll see you next time.